Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Mr. Freeze2244, and welcome to September's roadmap. So, I'm going to show you what we've got, got in store for September and go through each one in more detail in the blog post. Now, if you want to follow along with the blog post, I'll leave a link to that in the description as usual, and I'll leave the most important things on the screen. So, here we go. So, this is the roadmap for September. Not really a lot going on, it's just a lot of bloat, really, more than anything else. But let's go through it into a little bit more detail overall. The Hitman 3 September roadmap has arrived. This month in Hitman 3, you'll find two new fresh looking suits to unlock, visit Ambrose Island featured contracts, a bunch of elusive targets and more. Let's take a closer look at what's to come this September in Hitman 3. So kicking off from September 1st, which is today, so what content come out today. To kick off September, we have new elusive target arcades with a very illuminating unlock. In this arcade, Players will take on the Infiltrators, which consists of the Paparazzo, the Stowaway, and the Collector. With these come one compilation, or should you say complication, because they've misspelled it. You may only change the disguise once, so that's the complication of that loose attack arcade, which sounds awful. Um, you know, I'm, I'm I'm getting a little bit tired of these loose target arcade contracts with the complications where, which ruins the fundamental gameplay of what makes Hitman what it is. Why can't we change disguises? That's exactly what Hitman's all about. It's just a stupid uh, complication that's not something that makes the game fun. Restricting loadouts is also something that does not make Elusive Arc Arcade contracts fun either. So I would advise the developers to stop doing complications like that because it annoys players a lot and it just makes players not want to play it. Players going to go also head to head with the twin, the politician, again, and the Black Hat in the Illusory Illusory Target Arcade in this batch. In this batch, pacifications are limited. The punctuation in this is terrible. Uh, but yeah, again, another thing that's uh, very irritating when it comes to these complications as well. Um, no pacifications or limited pacifications. The Black Hat, you need to be knocking out a few people just to get the key card. And well, we'll see. We'll see when we get to it. Um, when you complete one of the two new arcades, you'll unlock the Neon Ninja Suit. Pay tribute to one of the original assassin groups in the elegant black uh, shinobi outfit. Sewn from black leather for extra, extra protection and elegantly stitched with thin neon lights. <laughs> in case you get lost in the dark. I, I don't even know what to say about this suit. It's just one of the... Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what to say about this suit. What do you think? I'm in a place where I just want to voice exactly my opinions on everything, but I just... Maybe it's... No, forget it. Moving on to the next section. September 8th. Contracts. Featured contracts. Visit Ambrose. It's time to go island hopping in this upcoming batch of featured contracts. The theme is Visit Ambrose and takes players back to the newest location in Hitman 3. Visit Ambrose is a tricky theme. Its main focus is the new Hitman 3 location. Yeah, it's very tricky. Coming up with featured contracts on Ambrose Island is a tricky thing to do. Absolutely. Um, but that being said, if you can find a sneaky way to frame it around Visit Ambrose without the use of the level, it still counts. I have no idea what the hell we're talking about. How to get your contract featured. It can be based on a super creative briefing a cool idea, or just a plain fun contract. But bear in mind, they have to be inspired by the theme, Visit Ambrose, to be taken into consideration. Or, just come up with a convoluted little trick or a little glitch that casual players don't know to create your featured contracts, and they'll definitely get featured, because that's what they always do. Uh, but that is coming from September the 8th. September 15th, we have another set of Elusive Target Arcade contracts. Uh, it's called Quack. Come September 15th, you can complete your Ducky collection with the stylish, anonymous Lucky Ducky suit. Don't be fooled by this lovely, soft yellow hoodie decorated with a cute duck motif, though it might show that your blood is yellow. Be bold, because you know it's stone cold. Black skinny jeans included. Complete one of these new Elusive Target arcades, the blusterous. Blust, what the fuck are these words, man? The blusterous end. 
There's no such word, is there? Never heard of that word in my life. Or is it and or? The bombastic. I don't know. Read the blog and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. The suit is yours, good duck. Man. September 16th, uh, which is a day later, which is going to be the Friday, uh, we have a loose target, The Rage, Year 2 edition. Cracks Knuckles. This Hitman 3 elusive target takes Agent 47 back to Chongqing for a time limited challenge that packs a punch. Your target's code name is The Rage, and he's back in Chongqing once again. He's a former middleweight champion who's on the run for taking one fight way too far. You didn't get the nickname The Crusher for no reason, so make sure you stay on your toes for this one. Be the eye of the tiger. You've got 10 days starting from September 16th. What I really wish they did with this elusive target is have an opportunity where we could spar him. That would have been really cool, but we didn't get that sort of opportunity. It turned out to be sort of a contract you can complete in about 30 seconds. I'm not sure if I'm even going to do a video on it because I've already done it. I've already done the three. Um, I don't know what. I need something special to do with this elusive target, otherwise, I just won't be able to cover it, unfortunately. September 22nd, we have the location rotation of Hokkaido. So the free location that uh, they give out every month, this time it's going to be Hokkaido. The free location rotation gives all players the chance to enjoy a location from the world of assassination. This time you're going to Japan to visit the hyper-exclusive Gamma facility in Hokkaido. You have 10 days to enjoy everything the location has to offer, from the hot springs to the life-saving surgery. Time to beat your old high score on Doki Doki Pow Pow. Have fun. So that's Hokkaido available for 10 days from September 22nd. September 23rd, we have another elusive target, which is the Stowaway Year 2 edition. Uh, I think, haven't we already done this twice already in Hitman 3? I feel like we have. I mean, it's definitely appeared in multiple uh, elusive target arcade contracts, including this very month. In the very first uh, Elusive Tiger arcade batch that's coming out this month, which is today. Strange, strange decision. So it's time to jump on the boat and go back to the honor scale to find this Elusive Tiger. Your, your target is Jimmy Chen, a cynical and paranoid tabloid journalist who literally kills for a good story. Your mission is to eliminate him and recover his dictaphone, but be careful and don't let him spot you, because this target has some unique behavior and will react to your presence. Yes, indeed. Finally, coming from September 30th, they have the Elusive Targets, uh, the Surgeons, Year 2 Edition. The targets are Dr. Pavel Friedel and Dr. Arkani Akinawa, brilliant and unethical transplant surgeons. They've arrived at the hyper-exclusive Gamma facility in Hokkaido, where they'll be for 10 days starting from September 30th. One surgery went wrong, and they made a very powerful enemy, a billionaire who lost his son. Your client offers a substantial bonus if the targets are eliminated in a manner of, of appropriate to the death of their former patient. Poetic justice. Good luck. Well, the complication behind that is basically you need to use the hemorrhage... It's hard to say the word. Is it hemorrhagenic uh, syringes? You need, to, you need to get those syringes and take them out with both the syringes. You can take them out any other way, but I don't think you get five stars on assassin rating. I think you only get a four star. So it limits uh, options of what you really want to do if you want to get for Silent Assassin. So we'll see what happens when it comes around to it. Uh, hopefully there isn't too much going on in October either, because in October is when I start my driving lessons. So hopefully, but I guarantee now the freelancer mode will come out in October now <laughs> and just screw the whole thing. But hopefully it doesn't come down to that. But let's have another recap of uh, the entire roadmap and we can wrap up the video. September 1st, we have the Elusive Tiger Arcade contracts. So both contracts, you complete either one of those and you'll get the new nin Neon Ninja suits. September 8th, we have the feature contracts. Visit Ambrose is the theme of that. September 15th, we have the Elusive Tiger Arcade contracts. Again, the theme is Quack, so you'll unlock the Ducky suit if you complete one of those arcade contracts from September 15th. From September 16th, we have another elusive target, the Rage, a year two edition. You'll be available in Chongqing for the next 10 days from the September 16th. September 22nd, we have the location rotation of Hokkaido, so it'll be available for free for the next 10 days from September 22nd. 
September 23rd, we have the Elusive Target Arcade, uh, sorry, not the Elusive Target Arcade, the Elusive Target called the Stowaway for the Year 2 edition. He will be taking place in Isle of Scale for the next 10 days from the 23rd. And finally, we have September 30th, Elusive Target The Surgeons. And they will be available in Hokkaido for 10 days from September 30th. But that wraps up the entirety of the September roadmap. I think the most uh, important thing that happens in September is my birthday on the 27th of September, but there's nothing special going on there. But uh, yeah, that's, that's going to do it for this video. So let me know your thoughts in the comments what you think of uh, this month's roadmap. Also, apologize if, if I appear to be in a bad mood because um, I am in a bad mood. I'll, I'll tell you a little bit of a story. I put, uh, I'm put i on a prepayment meter in the UK. We have meters where we've got to put a key in to top up your ele electric and gas. And I went to the local shop and topped the key up. And this is for the next month or so. That's the, what basically tied us over for the next month or so. And I put the key in the meter. doesn't work. Uh, the meter is not accepting anything that's off the key. So I've essentially just wasted every penny that I put into that money for the key. And I've contacted my, my energy company and they just don't seem to care. And they're making me jump through loads, loads of hoops to get around the situation. They keep passing me on to about, I think there's a sixth person they've passed me over to now. They don't answer the phones. Every every number that they ring uh, doesn't get answered or your phone call get, just gets cut off. So I'm restricted to talking to them through WhatsApp, which is just so stupid. Um, making me take pictures of my meter and stuff like that just to see if I'm trying to fiddle the meter or something, which is just, again, I don't know. It's just one of them things that are just driving me mad. It's been happening over the past two weeks now. They still haven't solved my problem. And I'm just a little bit angry over it at the point at this point because they're messing me about. But yeah, that's the reason why I've been a little bit weird in this video. So thank you very much for putting up with me. <laughs> um, you didn't have to listen to me. I Hopefully that uh, explains a few things anyway. I don't want to wrap up this video because I'm rambling on a little bit now. So you probably didn't care about any of that stuff. But energy bills are sky high at the moment and it's very very difficult to pay for them like as it is it's kind of like 380 percent now since last year and people just can't afford it and it's money is tight and that's the reason why i'm so annoyed about this because it's a lot of money but uh, anyway let's wrap up this video thank you very much for watching this video drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it subscribe if you are new to the channel let me know your thoughts in the comments what you thought about this month's uh, monthly roadmap uh are you excited for anything? Are you, are you looking forward? What are you looking forward to the most? Uh, I'm personally not looking forward to the featured contracts because I just, I just don't like them anymore. I don't know if I'm going to call for them or not, but we'll see. But uh, yeah, big shout out to all my uh, members, all my Psycho Assassin members especially. They are incredible help during these sort of times. I really do appreciate all the support. Consider supporting me on Patreon as well or becoming a member you start by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description for all the details. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.